My teacher in third grade, Kim, was like, we have a really important test tomorrow. It is so, so important you guys get a good night's sleep. I never slept again. I've never, I've never <laughs> closed my eyes since. Oh my God, my husband's ugly. Oh, my, husband. <laughs> my husband's fat. Already feel sad because you're crying. Because you, it's your fault. Why is it my fault? Because you look over my my neck and my shoulder and you, my whole shoulder, <laughs> my shirt shoulder, my shoulder, and you mansplain my video games to me. I'm not mansplaining, I'm trying to help. I don't need your help. <laughs> hey, you guys, that's a Goonie reference. Welcome to Annie Wood, my Stannies and Sannies or Fannies. Um, Danny's. Danny's, Danny Burke, we're talking about. Um, <laughs> we love you. I'm so excited you're here. I'm so excited to be doing this podcast and having a connection to you guys. I am very excited to announce that our Patreon has uh, produced our second episode. It is posted and ready to go of the Robbie Hoffman ruining my life and coming in and doing Marie Kondo. I will say that there has been an executive decision made. We'll talk about it later. I am rebuying the nunchucks, okay? She stole parts of my heart, my life, and who I am, and they will be being repurchased. But I'm really excited about the process anyway. It's been really helpful. It is really helping my mood. And I think we made a really hilarious video. Todd did some gorgeous editing. We have a preview of that later in the episode, and we also have it up on all the Instagrams. But you wanna go to patreon.com slash Annie Letterman to see that. And we do other giveaways, we have prizes, and you get an uncensored version of the episodes and other fun little things. We're thinking of maybe doing bloopers from the ads, the inappropriate things that we realize we can't say because the companies will kill us. But we have some fun, fun things ahead. And not only that, we have really fun things happening this very weekend. I am on the road. You can next see me doing a live Annie Wood. It's our first ever live episode at Skankfest. That's 5 p.m. on Friday. Tomorrow, we have TJ Miller and Duncan Trussell, and we have some very exciting things planned. We have props. We have food. We have crazy things happening. So you're going to want to check it out. It's going to be quite interactive. Um, I also will then be in Naples, Florida, October 10th at Off the Hook Comedy Club. Uh, October 11th and 12th, I'll be in Tampa, Florida at Side Splitters, one of my favorite places. Come on through. I'm going to be at the Mall of America in Minnesota, 18th and 19th of October. Then November 1st and 2nd, I'm going to be in Madison, Wisconsin. Chicago th 3rd, or sorry, Chicago on the 3rd, which is a Sunday, so that's a one-nighter. We had to move that, so please get your tickets to that. I'm so sorry we moved it. This one will not be moved. I'm then going to be at Mohegan Sun. The next weekend in Connecticut, um, I think that's like the 12th and 13th. And then uh, November 22nd and 23rd, I'll be at Laugh Boston. Please come see me. I'm doing a lot of East Coast shows. That's going to be crazy. Maybe I'm doing a month in New York, too. We shall see. Guys, go to andyletterman.com slash shows to come see me. I love meeting you guys. I love the merch line. I love the meet and greet. And I love just performing with you guys. So come on by. Enjoy the episode. Welcome to Annie Wood. What's up, guys? Episode 99. We're becoming elderly. This is exciting. We're about to have Y2K, baby. Ooh, we might have some good, uh, a good plan for episode 100. Episode 100 is looking to be very exciting. Now, we are scared because we are in charge of a new. If it's not episode 100, it'll be episode 101, which is also cool. It's going to be very cool. I'm going to tell them a little bit about it. Yeah. It's going to be live from Skankfest. We have um, our amazing friends of the show. I would say my favorite interview I've ever done in my entire life was an episode of Mean Inspiration with Duncan Trussell. So we got Dunky back. Now he's bald, which I'm excited. I haven't hung out with bald Duncan. Do you think he'll be evil now? Like a Lex Luthor? Oh, I can't wait to rub that head while I'm gambling and I'm betting numbers, <laughs> rub the head, get the luck out of there. We love Duncan. I think everyone <laughs> loves Duncan, but ooh, do we love Duncan. Duncan is a soul brother of mine. I love him. That sounded a little cultural appropriate. -y. And then we have my <laughs> other bosom buddy, TJ Miller. Oh. Who also battles with light and dark. 
And we're going to be trying new things. We have some fun things planned. Some we things have some being made. really fun things planned to the point where they try to book me on shows before the Annie Wood thing. And I just wrote them. I go, guys, I got prep to do for Annie Wood. I can't be doing shows this day. You got to put me on shows the next day. So hopefully. And shout out to the Skank Fest out. people. This was their idea to do. And we, we said, love, oh and my I was God, scared. it's a great idea. I was scared. She was scared. I was scared, but we're working on my fear. We're saying yes to things and we're not being fearful of things and we're being excited and that's right i told annie just to stop making her choices based out of fear and start making her choices based out of love and i said ah! and she said i'm not listening and then she went to ayahuasca and she came back and she said the same thing no i todd <laughs> we're working on a new project um i don't even know how to tease it because we don't really know what it is yet but we have some new fun god only coming. knows we have some new fun things coming and todd is on it. He's very good at making fun of me and telling me what's wrong with me. And then I go, that's not true. And then it comes true. Oh, isn't that but we're lovely? Excited. We're very excited. It's like the anticipation of Skankfest is, is taking me over. I'm, I'm on the Signal app, texting drug dealers. I'm having fun. I can't wait. By the time this episode comes out, we'll be driving through the desert. We'll be high on LSD. Lucy, we'll be looking at it. Diamonds in the sky. Well, actually, we might be at the pet groomer because Randy's so ugly right now. Randy's actually so disgusting that we're leaving late to get Randy groomed because he's got this pee belly. <laughs> he smells so much like pee. He's so Cut gross. To me. Look at this ugly, disgusting. Look at that little penis. Look at his little yellow belly. There's a turtle called called a yellow belly side neck, and that's what I call it. Oh, Randy he's now. a yellow belly side eye. <laughs> he's yellow so cute. He belly. loves being. His eyes are getting like really. <laughs> he's a voyeur. He likes to. Or he's an exhibitionist. He likes to show his wee wee. But we, yeah, we're gonna get him groomed for it. It's really that's what's fun about Skankfest. We have Randy. We have slots. Ooh, we have roulette, we have blackjack, we have all of the things. And you know what's really fun to do? Play craps with uh, TJ Miller. Oh, I'm playing craps with TJ. And just everyone, just like all your friends. There's people like Scott Chaplin, who I forgot existed until I saw him at Skankfest last year and like wanted to cry or two years ago and was like, oh my God. Should I wear my purple suit? Maybe Todd wears his purple suit. <laughs> Maybe Todd wears his purple suit. Uh. Um, but yeah, it's pretty exciting. Can we talk about that? It's such a hard thing to explain. We got <laughs> roped into, we got invited to the magic castle under the guise of being shown like a new trick. Or, no, under the guise of being shown a new trick, but also having the entire magic castle to ourselves. Yes, that we were going to go with, with <laughs> we can say Whitney, Whitney. Walker. Yeah. We were going to, Whitney was like, we have magic castle, like rent it out. Like it was going to be like, you know, it's like auntie Whitney, your rich aunt has, <laughs> got the keys to the castle okay <laughs> Literally. so we get where you know it's a last minute invite obviously because Kesha had to unconfirm and then we're invited <laughs> i'm okay i'll be second third to kesha i don't care <laughs> i love me a keshina but i understand what she's got going on but anyway so so it's last minute so we're like running around trying to get todd a suit and we end up getting <laughs> todd a suit that no let's call I'll post todd the white in this. I'll post we'll the call picture todd here. white in this scenario no white man has ever worn this suit okay <laughs> it is such a good suit and we were about to get him a dumb suit a really stupid suit it was, it was just a, a blue warehouse. suit it was ugly it was stupid it didn't I fit like right blue. you looked like like you my modello like you looked like and i'm trying on the suit and i hear todd get in here we got a new suit for you <laughs> it was on the sale rack can you believe like that this suit was on sale <laughs> It was so cheap. It was so beautiful. It was so perfect. It fit him so well. He looked so handsome in it. And this is Todd's new suit. And now it's my suit. new suit. It's my lucky suit. Maybe it's not so lucky after the end of the story. <laughs> so we go. We're going to go see this, this thing. They mic me up. They sit me in the middle. There's cameras on me. I'm heckling. Which okay? is weird because they're like, we're going to mic you up. And we're thinking like, oh, okay. I guess we're filming this thing. Right. Whitney loves content. She loves to make content. And she <laughs> wants to make sure everything is recorded. So we're... But also there's all these people we don't know. It's like not ours. Like we thought it was going to be like us, Whitney, maybe the baby. Maybe I'll be breastfeeding yeah, yeah, yeah. her baby for her, wet nursing for her while we watch the magic. <laughs> uh, Eric Weinstein was there who is an interest. I never thought I'd have an Eric Weinstein. In my she life. loved him. I did love him. Well, I like him. I kind of talked about it on one of the past episodes, but I like, I like men who are like know-it-alls that have a lot of, they retain information well. So they say something that like kind of triggers you. 
and then you you hit them back with something and they have like well in article 10.4 of blah 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 it says that women are only here to have birth <laughs> give birth and after that we should throw them in the trash and you're like but what about, aren't they here to create art? And they go, great answer. Um, <laughs> there's another article that says art is like being a mother to your work. And you're like, what? But it's like, they always have like references, yeah, books yeah, you're yeah. supposed to read. I just like call it like messing with those people and, and being sort of like, I feel very like raw and uneducated, but I feel smart and intuitive. And I think I have good ideas. So I like going, I like battling with people like that. And there's always sort of like, not like a, it's never a mean battle. It's always a fun, positive thing. And I love when they explain something to you that you've already known for pretty much your but whole life. But they say it in like a way that's And they like say crazy. it in a way that you've never heard anyone say What was say he saying it. about the high heels? He was like, you know why uh, women wear high heels? He's like, it's called an <laughs> echo scatchalon. Look it up. <laughs> There's like some stupid word and you're like, look it up and it's know. just about how you're. Ar Ariana, if you had to guess why women wear, wore high heels, what, what would your guess be? If you were as animals in the animal kingdom. If you were drunk and you were people. like, oh, why do women wear high heels? What would your first guess be? <laughs> so we can't run away? <laughs> Elongate our legs? No, I guess. Right. Elongating no, legs. He says what it is, is he's like, and you, when you see in the animal kingdom, when a animal wants to be I mounted. wish I remember oh, the word there. he said to look up because it was like it's just this word where it's like oh perching your ass basically yeah, yeah. it was like they what? perch their butts up so when you wear so high heels your butts go up it's like so you wear high heels to make he your butt said, look good I actually want to have him on the podcast because he was like he's I like, love that men and women always need to decide whether why they're having sex or why they're not having sex I'm like no men need to decide that I don't need to decide that I'm not looking at every man deciding whether or not I'm having sex with them yeah. But Todd always says that. Todd's like, every open micer thinks they can bang you. I'm like, they do? Well, oh. It's true. <laughs> I, okay. I both, like, tell me about the trick. I'm like, you Okay, could. so we get to the trick. <laughs> Whitney's up there. So she goes, okay, everybody Whitney doesn't get, get to sit down. Whitney's boyfriend's there, by the way. <laughs> who's a new boyfriend. They're very, like, tight and they're very much in love. Well, but she asks all the women to go sit down first, to sit in the middle and sit down first, right? And then the men come in. Also, her parents were there, which was, I don't know why I didn't see any of this coming. Well, I didn't know who the hell her parents were. I don't know. She's, I, I honestly would love to are. shout her name out, but I don't remember what her name was. I've never met her before. I think it was uh, Jen. I know. It's so weird because I don't want to like talk shit on her because she also was lovely and her family it was, was lovely. Nice. It was just a weird thing that happened to it's us. It's just we didn't know. We thought what we thought we were going into was very different than what we were going into. And I also smoked a lot of shmee. Uh, sh <laughs> oh, guess who Todd watches? I smoked a lot of shmi because I thought I was just going to be in this comment magic. in the comments if you know where smoking shmi came from. <laughs> comment below. Well, I, I just thought I was going to be in this magical castle watching magic tricks. I was like, might as well get like very high. That'd be fun, right? To go get high and do this. So I smoked a lot and I was very stoned at this point. We also had been in traffic for so long because it was like the <laughs> middle of the day. And Whitney was like late and Whitney's like, not like a happy late. Like Whitney's so on top of everything. Oh. So Whitney comes in, like, she's like frazzled. She has her nanny. Like, it's just like, it's crazy. She's getting dressed. She's like naked. I love how Whitney is always <laughs> naked in like two seconds. And it's just like, it's like Whitney being so cute and like flustered. And then they're like miking us up and they push us into the trick room, push us into the trick room. I'm sitting front and center. Whitney's not allowed to sit down. I'm sitting near the people that we found out were her parents. Yes. And she has Whitney like up there. By the way, you can hear the baby crying in the background. It's just a show for Whitney, right? Like Whitney's just like, has no clue what's going on. She just wants to sit. She's like, <laughs> where's so my baby? Funny. Like, but she's excited to have this trick, you know? And she's build, been building up this she's trick. Just like we've been up. building up this story. Yes, everyone's like, this, this is going to be so good. So she opens, she has like a series of little like index cards and With a sleeve numbers. and they have numbers. And she says, pick like, a number. Pick a number one through five, right? And Whitney's like, I don't know, Eric Weinstein, the mathematician that goes on Rogan, like what number should I pick? He goes, go with one. You know, it's like, why is Eric here? Why are we here? And um, she pulls it out and she goes, great. It says, get engaged. Okay. So now in my head, I'm going, Whitney's new boyfriend isn't this crazy, right? And there's no, too many strangers. There's too many strangers. Head. I'm going, Whitney's boyfriend just proposed to her this no, way. No, I'm going, there's no way he would do this in front of people we don't know. 
Like, there's just no way. And I think he would have given me like a heads up or something if he was doing it. And the girls in the audience are like, oh my God. And we're like, what are we not understanding? Whitney's looking at Whitney's panic. Okay, because in, in Whitney's head, Chris is going like in Whitney's this. head, she thinks. <laughs> Chris thinks she's proposing to him. Like, Whitney's like, oh my God, did my boyfriend think I'm crazy? But we know Whitney's like in her trad, tw trad wife era. She would never do that. But so, so anyway, so get engaged and we're all confused. And then she turns the other ones down and it says break up. And we're like, what the hell is going on? And I think her dad even goes like, I knew it. And we're like, what? What did you know? And then her boyfriend is like standing there and is now we realize at tuxedo yeah. and he's all nervous right and he she goes get the ring it's time right and as that happening whitney's baby's like just crying needs milk something so whitney has like run out so whitney's like gone for the moment so then the guy proposes to the girl who knows he's going to propose they're like the trick was the surprise was that we tricked you guys and all our friends are like we knew this was happening and we're like you did like why are we here? And then I literally so did not after all that, lovely girl. Very cool. So then after all that, Whitney like goes, helps her baby. She comes back and they have a laptop open. <laughs> they have a laptop open and they're like, Hey Whitney, remember when I was on your podcast and you said this and they press play and it's a video of and Whitney. And Whitney said that she was nervous meeting her. So she got really drunk <laughs> and, and Whitney so doesn't funny. really drink. So like Whitney was like, I like never seen her like this. Like, she was like wasted. She was being so funny. Like it Whitney was a video on of everything. Whitney is funny. just hammered. From the pandemic, she had like green hair. <laughs> and they even said they're like, we couldn't find it. It was scrubbed from the internet. It's like, there's a reason she didn't want it out there. And it was just her sitting with her boyfriend at the time, that girl's boyfriend, being like, you have to you have to you get engaged. You have to propose. I'll help you. I'll help you. I want to be a like part of it. But he's from Utah, so she was just making Mormon jokes. And like, this was Whitney like was four not being years serious. Ago. Like Whitney was like drunk making mormon jokes like it was like a mormon yeah. joke or something but whitney's like so sweet and then whitney becomes like best friends with everyone she meets and then so basically they're like so here we are four years later <laughs> whitney's like barely in the room she's like half in the room like half of their baby so that we put the pieces together this girl but i was remembered. heckling the whole time i didn't know it was her proposal i was heckling i thought it was going to be a magic trick i thought i was going to be seeing magic mic'd. tricks all day and then after that she's like mic'd. okay bye everybody the magic trick was us disappearing after the <laughs> No, but I like, I was, um, yeah, I was like Mike. So I was like, oh, I was just saying sh while she was talking and yeah. I just heckled her whole. I keep having to tell Annie, like, don't talk about anyone. You're, you're, on, you're mic. on a hot mic. You're on a hot mic. <laughs> Whitney kept being like, Annie, shh. <laughs> <laughs> but that's where the purple suit came from. That's where the purple suit came from. And it was right great. Now. You should follow this girl. She was lovely. I would be so disappointed if I didn't get to see a magic. Well, we didn't see one ma <laughs> that magic trick was so lame it was just pick a number but i and mean she, she just still slid had the to, thing and was like she still oh had to slide. i didn't see her slide we didn't see the slide that I was didn't the magic see the slide. Trick. i will say i didn't see the slide <laughs> i will say that but that's but, the story of the purple suit yeah i don't know how she would have done it but it was it was cute and i met a lot of asian friends of hers from vegas met a lot of and all those people were all like so stoked eric weinstein was there they were like, oh my God, I loved you on Rogan. I was like, like, did you like when I was on it? Like, so what do you think about the the Russell's uh, paradox about the number? No, everyone was that going up to him and being like, do you have any book recommendations? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm telling you, I do like people like that. Yeah. It's so funny to have like just you your brain just kept files of everything you read. <laughs> and you can just say nonsense things and in unlayman's terms, and then you sound smart. You just say not nonsense. You say just regular things. I could do it right now. Ready? Uh, ask me a question about about anything. How are babies made? Well, you see, uh, <laughs> you see, this is Huberman, are... not Eric. You're being Huberman. Oh yeah, yeah. Be well, Eric. You want me to do an impersonation of the person you're impersonating? Yes. Okay, fine. Uh, so, so uh, how babies are made? You By the way, think? I love this man. I love the man we're now currently making fun of. I absolutely adored, and I will be. And he's going. gonna be on Annie Woods. So. I like love him. I really loved him. I felt so. I will say the whole thing there was fun, and I was glad we met everyone we met, and it was fun, and it was weird, and yeah, I got a blister. That was the only problem. Yeah, and, I and was my spray tan got pulled off by the mic. It was. It was weird. It was, it was what we, cool. It's not what we thought. It was cool. 
Can I? Are you going to be Eric? You want me to be Eric? Telling you about how babies are made? Okay. Well, you see. Um, <laughs> yeah, but you would think that a baby is made through a man ejaculating into a woman, but it's actually a lot more complicated than that. By the the story of uh, of U- U- Uga Fella and and, <laughs> and Marcy's is that is that when the sperm actually reaches the the, ch- the uh, exterior of the egg cell, that fertilizes and that creates the baby. <laughs> and you go, oh! But first, the girl I has to that. perch her ass up. <laughs> it was cute. Yeah, it was cute, and I like seeing Whitney with with smart guys. It's just so funny around smart guys. She's so cute. I just love my Whitney. Love my Whitney. Okay, so what did you want to show me? Yes, I wanted to show Annie, guys. There's there's this internet phenomena going on right now. This internet mystery. Called uh, there's a guy online called School Smart Schoolboy Nine. Now Have you guys I get heard of this? woken up. Todd's terrified. I'm terrified. Todd is <laughs> terrified. And I watch from terrifying things. He watches terrifying things, and I am in Terrifier Three. <laughs> Don't blink. Um, but anyway, it's so it's these people on like Reddit. They found like this weird uh, Instagram channel. Where people, where this guy was like posting this, these weird pictures of like edited children, like edited really weird with like red, bright red lipstick and and just like really creepy, creepy edits and creepy like sayings where you're like, what the hell is this? So they started tracking that down and they linked it to another Instagram page called uh, Smart Schoolboy Nine. And it's a grown man that dresses up as a schoolboy and is does the creepiest, weirdest, weirdest stuff. And out of this, there's so many conspiracies coming out about like what it is, if it's legit, if he's an actual psychopath or if he's like an actual P file or if he is like some kind of like uh, art, like if it's like some kind of art project. Is he Asian? No, he's British. Oh, you could be British and Asian. It's like that, a right? weird British. I don't know. He looks like a Mexican or something. <laughs> but here, I, I'll show you. But I have a question. When when they first found this on Reddit, it was like there were no views. Like someone there was were no just views. like. It had like low views. So this is the stuff he was posting. See that? Like these kids. Yeah, that's scary. Like that's creepy. And this is the guy, Ew. Schoolboy 9. So it's very weird, very creepy. And then people just, where did you find it? You saw it on Reddit? I saw it on, people started making videos of it. Like, what the hell is this guy? And he started posting on TikTok, like these weird, weird videos. So on the uh, the top, I, yeah, bookmarked some uh, some videos. So, so this Todd is one of the videos. So Todd isn't trying to show me this and I'm going, I don't want to watch this. So now this is me watching. So it. these are his videos he posts. <laughs> is that not? The scariest thing you've ever so seen. So is that ever. not his mouth? That is his How mouth. How can you He's shake just doing it like something that? weird. I don't know. This is another video. Heading to school. He looks like one of our embryos. <laughs> he looks like long legs. It reminds me of long legs. What long legs should so have scary. done? Or like a real long legs. This is another one. He's just running in like a hallway. But he has like hundreds of like weird videos like this. <laughs> so, there's hundreds of weird videos. Wayne calls me, my brother Wayne, and Wayne shows me the scariest shit. All, like everything I've ever seen that has is scarred me or traumatized me is from Wayne. And once I knew Wayne was on it, I was like, this is a big thing. But I wanted to ask you, what do you think when you see something like that? Do you think it's like out of those three? Options. I think it's someone just messing around. You think it's just fake? Yes. Someone just trying to be scary? What do you mean fake? It's just someone creating a weird thing. But messing here's the like- thing. He was also commenting on like kids, like Instagrams being like, hey, I'm just a little boy. You want to play? That's unacceptable. Is that scary or what? So what do you think? And then so people have been calling the cops on this guy being like, you guys have to like get this. And Can this I is just another say part now, of the story. Like maybe they do need to take kids' phones away. Yes. No, they were saying they were trying to get kids' phones out of schools, but because there's so many essings at schools now, they need to have their phones to be able to call their parents if they have to say bye bye. 
How sick is that? That is crazy. I, I was just saying this to Ariana before we started. Ariana's here. I don't know if I shouted her out. Um, I'm starting to feel really proud of people that homeschool their kids. I th- I always used to clown on it and think it was weird because we had these weird Christian kids that were homeschooled. It is weird. I think it's still They weird. were very weird kids. They weren't, they never cut their hair. <laughs> They never cut their There was a whistle that they would go to dinner, and I'm pretty sure only they could hear it. And they grow up to be school, you smart school You have to believe in God to hear the whistle. The kids homeschool grow up to be like that guy. Maybe, but I think if you have them in sports and stuff, they are getting socialization and maybe camp, maybe over the summer. They can I know, it. but school gets you into sports. I, you'd have to do like a recreation, and then you're but like- we did JJBL, Jewish Junior Basketball League. Yeah, but then you go we were the as only a Quakers kid. there. And then all the other kids are in school together. And they go, who's this kid in my, you well, know what, what I mean? Like, Ooh, who's this cool kid who hangs out with his parents all day? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think even though like the, the chances of something crazy like that happening, there being a raining of certain things that rhyme with mullet uh, throughout a room and, and hallways. That I don't was, wanna... That was a weird mullet. Yeah. What about like hootings? Well, I was saying a it's raining, raining of, of, yeah. I, was I think you could say way. bullet. Bite the bullet. Let's just Bulletin. Say, bulletins. <laughs> a lot of bulletins in the school. Oh, oh my but, God. Um, <laughs> a raining the, of Even bullets. though the chance, I think the anxiety of that has got to be so hard on the kid. And then my, my niece is like telling me all these crazy things are going on in school. It is like, it's really, but I guess that's an important part is to like, deal with your fear and your anxiety as a kid you have to yeah i don't and know my nieces have like adult anxiety, but i had adult anxiety when i was a kid like adult like anxiety i told you have i said on here my the first time i'd never slept my teacher in third grade kim was like we have a really important test tomorrow it is so so important you guys get good night's sleep i never slept again i've never i've never <laughs> closed my eyes since i have never closed my eyes since she said that it was like, once it was associated with being a good girl or a bad girl, I was done. Done. Oh, my God. I was having ruminating thoughts. I had a dream last night that I was at a, a concert. It was like a, an event, but it was like in a, a weird, like, you know, one of those rooms in a, in a hotel banquet room. And J-Lo was there. And then Ben Affleck came out. And I was like talking to these girls about how I think like Ben Affleck distanced himself from J-Lo because he knew the PDD stuff was coming out, but then he like just was is so attracted to her, he can't help himself, right? And I'm saying this stuff. <laughs> She's doing Sam a podcast Rell's in there. her dream, guys. Well, Sam Rell's there, but I haven't gotten to like anything funny yet. I'm just sort of like workshopping my ideas about P. Diddy <laughs> and J-Lo. And, and, and Sam Morell comes in and he goes, look, I, I don't want to be rude, but if I can give you some advice, he's like, keep it funny. And I was like, oh. I was like, well, my process is I kind of like <laughs> ramble until I find the funny part. And he was like, just stick to it being funny. And I was like, oh, oh my God. That's my subconscious. Sam Morell is Sam in my- Sam Morell is haunting my, my fiance now. In, Sam Morell is in my subconscious going, you have no room to not be funny. How dare you even try to be sincere or not funny? <laughs> you have no worth. Your life has no worth if you're not being funny. Who are oh. you? Who do you think you are? If you're not funny, what the hell is the point? But oh I had to stand up for myself. There you go. I had to stand up for myself and say, that's how I get to the good stuff. So I get to the funny. What are the chances that you are going to become friends with Jennifer Aniston? What are the chances that you're going to be close enough to Jennifer Aniston to sniff her hair? What are the chances that you're going to be close enough to Jennifer Aniston to sniff her hair and not be tackled by security? What are the chances you smell Jennifer Aniston's hair and aren't in jail. Slim to none. Unless you get Lola V. Okay. We're all, we've all looked at Jennifer Aniston's hair and said, I want that. Give it to me. Can I have it? How do I get it? I've gone to every, and this is not for the ad. This is dead serious. I have sat in every hairdresser's seat and said, can I have Jennifer Aniston hair? And they go, absolutely not. But now you can with Lola V. And you know what I want to do? I want to go back to all those hairdressers. I want to shove Lola V in their face and say, what now, bitch? What now? <laughs> Jen has worked with industry-leading chemists to create a hair care line that delivers results while using natural ingredients. 
That's my girl. Ooh, my favorite part is that they're der derived from chia seeds. I ate chia seeds this morning. Ooh, and Lola V's products literally form a protective cuticle around the hair to keep strands healthy and looking great. Oh my God, I wish I could put a strand around you. Oh my goodness. Um, this stuff smells great. It's awesome. I literally feel, I geek out. It's, have you ever been starstruck by a shampoo? That's how I feel. I feel like I want the shampoo's autograph. Look at her autograph. hair. Look how nice and nice I it is. I want the shampoo's autograph. Lola V is the ultimate hair savior for every season. Repair the damage you did this summer and get ready to face the fall. If that's not enough, Lola V also smells incredible. Check out all Lola V products at your local Ulta Beauty location to experience the luxurious scent for yourself or head directly to their website at lolavie.com. Loyal Anniewood listeners get an exclusive 15% off your entire order when you use code Anniewood at checkout. That's 15% off your order at lolavie.com with promo code Anniewood. Please note one promo per order and discounts can't be combined. Support the show and tell them we sent you. Your hair will thank you. We put the LOL in Lola V. I'm off the Ozemp, guys. I'm in a different life. I have to be really on top of my food. And I don't want to count calories. That's boring. I want Factor to do my heavy lifting. Their fresh, never frozen meals are dietitian approved and sent straight to your door. Thank God. Thank God for this. Oh, I love things that just are just sent straight to no, your I door. No, I like them sent to, and they're fresh. They're good. They're not frozen. It's like, they're actually absolutely delicious. And you can click different options. You can get Calorie Smart, Protein Plus, and Keto. So we were getting the Keto. We're going to do the Protein Plus this next time because your girl needs to build her muscles back after Ozempic stole it. But this is really exciting. And I think that being partnered with Factor at this time is key. Because I don't want any, I don't want to, I can't have any distractions. I need to just have my food sent to me. Because Factor makes sticking to your goals fun and delicious. Factor meals couldn't be easier to pre prepare. Just throw them in the microwave or on the skillet for two minutes and you're all set. We prefer the microwave. This is when I cook. Finally, <laughs> I can cook for Todd, okay? She does. She cooks these things the for me. If the meal is three minutes and under, your girl's got it. Factor has 35 different meals and over 60 add-on items to choose from each week. Ooh, I love those add-ons. From breakfast all the way to dessert, you'll be eating well all day long. It's What's so good. What's your favorite meal? I like the juices too. Ooh, those juices are there good. There were so many good those ones. Those coffees, they do the coffees. I don't have a favorite. Everything in the keto menu is absolutely delicious. Ooh, no, that chicken was delicious. Oh God, that they, steak was good. They even had the, there was one that had no, it had tofu in it. We liked it. We're not the tofu The tofu one was good. That was banging. What was it? The cheddar chicken? Mm, I can have one I of those right now. I don't remember what they were called. They were all good. I didn't, I was like, oh, I should memorize these. And then I was like, every single one's good. It's good. You can trust them. It's delicious. We want more. We want more. Head to factormeals.com slash Anniewood50 and use code Anniewood50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month. That's code Anniewood50 at factormeals.com slash Anniewood50 and get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month while your subscription is active. Guys, there's no better deal than that. 50% off. Let's go. Let's become 50% less body weight too. Let's go baby post ozempic annie is here um but i do have an update speaking of hauntings i was texted by susan pinsky the wife of dr, dr. Drew. drew dr drew pinsky you may know him as dr drew pinsky um she texts me we went on a boat with them, guys. This it was is very boat. This is pre boat. This is, I'm like on the road. She always sends me like things, like articles. So she sent me an article um, that says Ozempic side effects could lead to hospitalizations and doctors warn about long term impacts uh, that remain unknown. Okay. So she sends that to me. It's from Fox Business. <laughs> Okay, it's from Fox Business. 
is from Fox Business. They're promoting Alpha Brain on the side there. They want, there's <laughs> weird, the banners are all bananas, okay? The bananas are like, lock her up. Yeah, yeah. Like, the ads are, uh, Alex Jones is like, yeah, uh, the banners are weird. Truth serums. Yeah, so, <laughs> so she sends me that, but I was like on the road or something, so I just was like busy, I didn't get to write back. I never am, um, I, I guess it's a little annoying when people are like, mothering you but it's also sweet you know it's like whenever anyone has good intentions and wants to help me i always think it's sweet like the postmates guy smart school boy nine Sp oh, smart school boy, yes well the <laughs> postmates guy the other day the postmates guy rings the doorbell i'd say two minutes later i basically just cover my nipples <laughs> and go to pick the thing up he's still standing there like hello i went oh <laughs> Okay. Just close the door. We're so used to uh, uh, DoorDash and Grubhub people just dropping they drop the it off food and get on the They didn't ground. want to make eye contact. This is not an eye contact game. This man was there. And the reason he was there is because what we realized when he did leave it, when I was nude, was that he had left us like a little Jesus loves you. Oh, card, he left which us is like cute. a Bible verse. It's cute. I love when people are like, I'll pray for you. I'm like, you will? It's cute. So anyway, there was nothing about this that was like, I just didn't get back to her, right? So then she texts me and she goes, hey, Annie, it's Susan Pinsky here. Like, I don't have her number in here, which is cute. How are you? And then she's asking me about booking something. And then she goes, um, sorry about the Ozempic thing. I just lost a friend to liver failure and it scares me. Okay. So I go, you don't have to apologize for caring about me. I'm sorry. I was on family vacation. That's what I meant. She goes, oh, lovely. She said, I also heard today it increases wrinkles. <laughs> She's like, that'll get her. <laughs> I go, I look 10, though. <laughs> she goes, I like the weight loss, loss part. Um, and then she said, but my friend died. And I said, from Ozempic? And she said, no, liver failure. And I went, oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. And she goes, he was 71 years old and a billionaire. And I went, oh, <laughs> could have introduced me before he died, huh? I gotten in that well. She sends me a video of him that's cute. And then uh, she said he had other health problems too, but he's haunting me now. I go, <laughs> he seems amazing. And she goes, um, I go, have you spoken to him? I'm playing along with the ghost thing. And she goes, yes. I go, so cool. And she goes, you guys would have gotten along really well, but he wants, he also wants me to tell you to stop taking Ozempic. And just like that. No, no, no. And just No, like that. no. I went, okay. <laughs> I went, all right. And then we went on a boat with her and Dr. Drew. And I'm like, Drew, what's what's the deal? And then she said he did die from a zombie. So I'm like, okay. So then Drew was saying, oh, you can go septic and then you can just die all of a sudden or whatever. And I was like, okay, I've had no bad side effects from Ozempic. I, I was thinking there's no way that any of these bad things will happen to me. But then I just started thinking, I went, you know what? Let me see what happens if I go off Ozempic. It is annoying to always be on Ozempic. I'm also always, um, <laughs> I like it to be in my chin. She keeps putting it underneath her chin like this. I like she talks it to be like in this. my, she talks like this, my tracheotomy, tracheotomy. Um, but I thought, you know, like, I'll just try to be off it. Because if I'm being honest, I'm very unhealthy when I'm on Ozempic. I don't work out. I don't eat right. I'm eating Taco Bell. I'm eating like. We're eating ice cream. We're eating, eating ice movie cream, theater popcorn. We're and I'm eating, eating candy. I'm ordering, we're eating soda. We're having soda. We're, <laughs> I'm literally the worst I've ever been, but I'm the skinniest too. Was Todd on it with you or he's just doing the no, same diet? No, he just diet. eats like shit. I just do the I same thing. I went on the thing, Todd diet. But look at this. Should I show? Yeah. Ew, Todd. <laughs> I can't allow people to see that. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I'm having secondhand embarrassment. If I Todd, go a little. No, Todd. <laughs> Todd, that's so embarrassing. You look like sh Oh my God, my husband's ugly. Oh, my, husband. <laughs> my husband's fat. Oh, Randy feels sad because you're crying. Todd. <laughs> Randy, daddy's fat. <laughs> you're fat. So Ew. Annie's off Ozempic now, guys. <laughs> so I got off Ozempic, but now I'm the most healthy I've ever been. I'm eating only protein and vegetables and 
I went to I went to yoga and Pilates. Oh. And then everyone on when I was wearing this outfit on stage, everyone's like, oh my God, your abs. And I was like, it's because I went to the gym twice. If I work out two times, I'm ripped. But anyway, so we're gonna see how this goes. And I feel really excited about it because now that I don't have the crutch of Ozempic, I ain't gaining that weight back. By the way, I will immediately go back on it if I start to gain the weight back. <laughs> no problems there. But it's good. And I think what I learned the lesson is that as I do like to be open with everyone, it is annoying that everyone has an opinion on what you're doing and taking. Everyone's got an opinion. It's sweet. It's nice. Dottie, thank you for sending me a thing. I'd already been off of Even it. the people on Patreon. It's sweet, but If it's, you guys post that one more time, you're, you're out. It's just annoying. And then everyone going, <laughs> oh, you have a Zemic face when it's like, I don't. I had no bad side effects. I looked perfect. But, um, <laughs> I looked great. This is my natural state. Todd wants me to get the, the um, things to look more I call Asian. it the puppeteer. He wants the me to get those, surgery. the um, threads. threads so I can look like his people. Look at that. This would be hot. That would look good. It must be where we're trying to go to sleep and you're like fighting to get your eyelids down. You're like, <laughs> they keep popping back up. I wonder if you sleep with your eyes open. You're like, <sighs> You have to put eye tape I on, not just mouth my tape. Eyes open. Guys, I want to say I was doing mouth tape first, <laughs> and I'm so tired. I'm so tired of everyone thinking they came up with it. I keep getting pitched mouth tape. I'm like, I I've been mouth taping for years. I've been duct taping her mouth since the moment Tom I met been her, guys. Taping me and throwing me in the <laughs> trunk of a car for years. Honestly, my senior uh, presentation, I duct taped my mouth shut for two days as a gag. Well, just to be like, because my expression is talking a lot. Oh, the teachers didn't get so it, good. but they let me pass because they. Oh my God. They let, they gave me a pass anyway, but people were very rude to me when my mouth was taped shut. They were very, very instigating. Now, let me ask you this. You know, uh, Susan Pinsky, she talks to ghosts, spirits and the what have you. Creeps me out. Do you talk, do you believe in ghosts? Do you believe in spirits? Do you I believe, believe in, in like a spirit. I believe in like a, I believe in like that we're a collaboration. I think that. Every joke that I love that I've written was like, I was struck by lightning. Like something came from another place and gave me that joke. And then together right. we wrote it and then I honed it. But I feel like I can really tap into something like that. And I do feel like with the medium stuff, like I watched that Tyler guys oh show. He, it creeps God. me out, man. It's it the creeps me out. shit I've ever seen in my life. It creeps me out. It's not it, creepy. It's also just like it's sad. It's gross. It's gross. But I've not lost someone that I have wanted to contact that badly. You know what I mean? Like I haven't like, I already know Brody's catchphrases, so I don't have anything I need to hear from Brody. I already know what he would say. What would he say? Push. Push. Positive push. Yeah. Why don't you... Talk to him then when you're sitting on the toilet and you're all constipated from the popcorn movie theater. <laughs> <laughs> that is a, it helps you poop. <laughs> Iver, you're so dumb. That's a, oh, my you're fat skinny. husband. But I'm going to start getting like better triceps too. <laughs> my shoulder's still healing is the problem. But oh my God. It is. My shoulder hurts. My shirt hurt my shoulder. Okay, we can't do <laughs> baby voice. We have a saying because once my shirt hurt my shoulder. Guys, say my shirt hurt my shoulder in a baby voice. Just but say it right now is, to. The uh, thing is that my shirt hurt my shoulder and then he would go, <laughs> her shirt hurt her shoulder. Her shirt hurt her shoulder. Her shirt hurt her shoulder. It's so embarrassing to like <laughs> let people in on our inside stuff, but it's what Annie Wood is. It's what Annie Wood is. Uh. Um, but so... Do you Ghost. believe in do you believe in I've demons? I've never felt what? Do you believe in demons? I think believe in personal demons. Do you believe in it? Well, wait, demon? remember when I went to that guy? I went to this guy that's like a <laughs> healer. He lives in Australia, I think. And or South Africa or something. And he was like healing me. He got recommended to me by someone. He was like doing this healing on me. It was yay. And uh at the end, he's like, he made these. AI images for me. And he said, he's like, I saw you like you're a clown, you're a jester, and you're you have a book called Comedy 101. I'm like, oh my God. By Judy, what's her name? Judy Carter. Comedy 101. <laughs> you have this leather bound <laughs> thing called Comedy 101, and you're a jester. And and there was an ayahuasca man that had come through you through your ayahuasca, which was <gasps> a demon that didn't get away from you. <gasps> so he cleared the ayahuasca man for me. 
The Hat Man, the Dark Hat Man. Might have been the Dark Man. Aaron Rodgers. Dark but he sent me a picture. Man? Let me actually pull the pictures up. But oh I was like, God. not. I can really catch the vibe sometimes of things like this. I did not feel it with this man, but my friends <laughs> liked him, and the things were so funny. Hold on, I got to show you them. So there's ayahuasca demons. He said that I shouldn't do ayahuasca. When people have never done ayahuasca and tell me not to do ayahuasca, I'm disgusted by them. I'm disgusted by them. If you've done it and you have yeah. your personal opinions about it, I hate that. Why would you take away my thing that I choose whether I do or not? That's how I feel about like people that don't have sex until marriage and they like try to tell you not to have sex until marriage. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do know what you mean. I go, I'm not a nerd like you. Sorry. Okay. That's how I feel about people who tell me not to do meth when they've never done meth. <laughs> Seriously, have you done meth? You can tell me. <laughs> Hold on, I can't really... Make sure you could see it because she has the privacy. Because thing on you, her phone. it's your fault. Why is it my fault? Because you look over my my neck and my shoulder and you my whole shoulder, oh. my shirt shoulder, <laughs> my shoulder, and you f mansplain my video games to me. I'm not mansplaining. I'm trying to help. I don't need your help. <laughs> Comedy Inc. Oh my god, it's me. a scary book. I was like, okay. And then hold on, there's more. I don't know who this is. And that's the demon? Montel Williams. Which, by the way, Kamala Harris dated Montel Williams. Did she? And people are coming out like that's a bad thing. I'm like, that's cool. Do you see this man? Wait, Montel? Let me see. It's like an AI version of him. And then he said it's like this thing, this Michelangelo thing, but there's a jester hat on it. You see? <laughs> I'm like, what the hell is this? <laughs> Wait, where's the, where's the ayahuasca man, though? It's not downloading. The ayahuasca man was funny. He wasn't a dark man. That was a dark man. That was a very dark man. Montel Williams dark. <laughs> uh, I think it's cool if, like, someone becomes the president that dated Montel Williams. <laughs> uh, you know that Trump uh, banged uh, Sally Jesse Raphael? I don't know who that is. That's where I got his look from. Look up Sally Jesse Raphael. Look, stay signed <laughs> out. Oh. Doesn't it look like him? Okay. She looks like Trump. Is she Wait, still with go. us? Scroll down a little bit. She's still alive? Yes. Oh, my God. Tabloid talk show. Host. Born in 1935. Still oh alive? Oh, my goodness. Still alive. 1935. He's like, I like those 1935. She's 89 years old. Year. And how old is he? Trump? Is he like 80? Donald Trump. What's my age again? 70. Oh, he's young. He was going up for a little older woman at that time. Yes. They looked, uh, they looked exactly alike. You think he was crawling on the floor? He was crawling like Todd <laughs> crawled from the man. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're going to see what happens without Ozempic. I feel like, I do feel like being my age, I feel like the excuse of I'll do this later doesn't exist anymore. I'm That's like, I want to get the you. best, I want to get in the best shape I've ever been in. I want to be like a ripped, I want to be wearing low rise pants. She wanted to get ripped like uh, Emily from the challenge, guys. Emily from the challenge is quite ripped. <laughs> quite ripped. <laughs> Young Jamie has a crush on her. I always <laughs> young Jamie. I met her. Young Jamie, if you're watching, um, I met her at a party and I almost told her that you had a crush on her, but I didn't quite speak to her. I saw her at a party. She was drunk. She's walking around. Was she drunk? I think so. They were all drunk. We went to a challenge party, guys, where all the challengers were hanging out. It was very challenging for me because they have no clue who I am. So to me, to them, I was... Just another fan. Just a weird fan that knows a lot about them. And I was acting that way. I was acting that way. <laughs> I was nervous. I was like, because uh. usually when I meet celebrities, I'm like, I'm weak in the knees. I kind of go overboard and hope they think it's cute. But this is a different type of We talk of with Johnny Bananas. He's going to come on the pod. Johnny Bananas is coming on the pod. We got to follow up with him before he forgets we got to follow up. Because he doesn't remember anyone. He's busy. Bananas. Johnny Bananas is moving. Look, look, Bananas. See this? You see... I'll take it out. I will say to Here, you hold still, it. Jordan you is the man. Nehemiah is so cute, though. Even you though see that, bananas? Hold it closer to you. 
She didn't know if this way was closer. <laughs> <laughs> See that bananas? Gotta say, he's he's way more handsome in person. It's very weird how gorgeous everyone was. <laughs> People were gorgeous. Gorgeous. Well, Norris is already my girl, but I hadn't met her in person. And I was like, "Who's? where's the prettiest girl at the party? She's like, stop. Norris is going to come on. Kylan's going to come on. Kylan wasn't there, but we've met Kylan. Kylan was like shockingly handsome too in person. I know. The camera does you weird You know what it is? It's like. There's a, they're all like, so they like have a glow. They're also, and, they're athletes. They're and healthy. And it's weird because we hang around a lot of like comedians and actors and they're all so short, but like these reality yeah, that's stars what it is. are so big. You're like, holy shit. You're like actually You're big. tall as, and they're true <laughs> athletes. They're like, oh, this is so weird. Like, do you remember when we were at that party and um, Harry Jowsey was there? I mean, he's like six yeah, foot yeah. eight. Yeah, that was the craziest big. thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm like, what the <laughs> It's so weird. You're just so used to like, I remember when I met Adam Sandler when I was living in Santa Fe and I was like, oh, your head is like the regular size of a head. She gave him a noogie. I went, look at you, guy. <laughs> but it was just so weird, like, because you're so used to seeing them on like a movie screen yeah, too. Yeah. But not that I don't think he's short. I know Rob gave me, Scheider gave me um, shoes Rob of Schneider's his. Rob is about this tall, maybe no. this tall. <laughs> Rob, you're so cute. You got in trouble. He's just a little daughter. Asian man. He's Christian now. He's Catholic. He's Christian. He converted. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be converting too, guys, just as soon as we get got the time. Guys, numbers and tickets. Oh my God. I just got <laughs> I just got an offer. I'm gonna do in the beginning uh, or mid-November, I'm going to um comics, which is Mohegan Sun, the casino. Okay. It is this is a redemption weekend. I ate my hardest weekend I've ever eaten at that club. At the Mohegan Sun? I didn't, I wasn't skilled enough. I didn't know how to handle when things didn't a just casino? work. casino? But this is going to be fun well, She's a casino so pro excited. now, guys. I remember the owner at the end, the owner's son was like, my last show, he was like, do you want to take an edible before you go on? And I went, no, I'm performing. He goes, Annie, it can't get worse. I go, you're right. Give me that edible. <laughs> it was like where I was like grabbing people. I was like, is everyone okay? And my friend Tim Cole came from college. It was so embarrassing. Where is Mohegan Sun? It's in Connecticut. Oh. It's fun. Unfortunately, I am going to be in a weird, I'm on the East Coast for three weeks accidentally, unless I go back and forth. But sometimes my agent routes me to the East Coast like two weekends apart and doesn't realize that that's actually the worst routing. Because it means I am possibly flying back and forth a few times, but maybe I won't. Well, you could always dunk his head in the toilet. I think we should bring back bullying, but only to your reps, your <laughs> Hollywood representative. <laughs> I want to flush. I want to give swirlies to my agent. All right. Just well, kidding. We're doing a quick tarot card. I want to, I kind of want to like, remember the, the big boobed, the fake boobed psychic that was on the boat with Dr. Drew. Do I remember? <laughs> it was very weird. Like Susan was talking about, like, she's like, my boobs shrunk. And I, but when they were big, like people were like, are they fake? And then we're just like, this in front of this girl with fake boobs. And she's just silent. She was also from Philadelphia too. But she, she likes the egos. Was she actually from Philly? Yeah. I was thinking of taking her to the abandoned hospital, but I'm creeped out by psychics. I'm not creeped out by them. I'm disgusted by them. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think I should bring her? Um, I have a phobia of psychics, kind of. I have a phobia of people that aren't telling the truth. I know. I just feel like, like if they are telling the truth, it could just be fun. Oh, okay. Here we go. It's not. It's not looking good for the so people. So who got this one? I, I just pulled for a general people. card for the people. This is for the people. Eight of Wands reversed, so they may be feeling stuck or delayed um, in their endeavors. But so these are. This is for the audience. Yeah, this is for the audience. Oh. You may be feeling stuck, and you may be feeling um, delayed. Delayed, but. But I got a solution. You join the Patreon. Oh, the light will come. The to light you. light will come out. All you got to do is spend five or twenty dollars, whatever you're feeling like. <laughs> five or twenty support the show, and I guarantee you'll feel enlightenment. You'll feel that power that you always need. Your support is very helpful. We have a lot of fun things we want to do. That yeah, yeah. Viewer support very much helps us, 
And I don't have that same income I used to, guys. Things have changed. So <laughs> we love your support. You guys are precious angels. Obviously, like, comment, subscribe, click the bell so you get alerted. We love you. And All right, don't Ariana, worry about pick one for me, too. Don't worry you, about feeling stuck. Okay. No, you can keep going. Don't worry about feeling stuck because you are able to Stop. unstick yourself. I like how tarot cards are all different. Every deck looks different. Eight of cups. Ooh, eight of cups. Reversed. Reversed. Oh. Which it's eight of hats now. Because they're reversed. They're eight hats. of cups. Ooh, they're I like hats. cups. That's like, uh, my bow has eight cups. I always have eight cups in my hands. <laughs> hey, you're facing challenging questions about whether to stay or go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, interesting. Is this because you wanted to drive for Amazon? <laughs> Todd pitched that he was going to drive for Amazon. I go, Todd, Well, don't. he's fearing being abandoned. So. Do you think I'm going to leave you because you're not making enough money? <laughs> Probably. Is that how you feel? She won't let me make any money, guys. The amount of money that you would make doing deliveries for four hours that I would allow you to do it is not. Worth she won't it. let me make any money. She thinks money comes, money goes. I think money comes from the hose. <laughs> All right, now one no, for if, Annie. You know what type of money I would like you to have? Generational wealth. I would like you have to come in. Uh, you rich. don't think I wish I had I, that? That's the only type of money I, I would want I you to have. That. You're a creative. I don't want you doing stuff that gets you away from being creative. We you just have need a to do mom. a heist. We need to like have. We need to go and get a lump sum of money really quick so we could live our. That's mom. what happens in Hollywood. You get lump sums of money, so don't worry about it. But is there a heist that we could do? No, is there I'm something not we could steal? There's no stealing. There's no stealing. Is there There's... some jewels no, that are out there that we could take? No, it's a magnetism. You have to get your poor Jersey bullshit out of your head. <laughs> it's a magnetism. Oh, my bow got the devil. <laughs> the devil's good. The devil's good. <laughs> <laughs> the devil card in your reading is having feelings of entrapment, emptiness, lack oh, of fulfillment. Oh, but wasn't oh. it upside down? No, it was, no, right, right it, was it was right side. But it's upside down to me. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so what does it mean? Um, it's, it's about transformation mostly. So devil I am isn't necessarily. She, is. she needs yeah. to get through this. I'm transforming. Yeah. We have these new things we're shooting, and I'm learning and I'm growing and I'm learning to not be in fear. Yeah, I don't think it's necessarily um ravage violence. Yeah. Ooh. I think it's just passion violence. and transformation. I don't think it's necessarily a negative thing. Um Oh, you don't want it reversed either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, let's see here. <laughs> yeah. The yeah, devil's the personification of evil. Um, yeah, I don't I think it's just a really, really powerful card. I don't think it necessarily Ariana's so funny. She's scared <laughs> you know. she's not gonna be invited back. <laughs> no, I don't listen. My life is good. I feel like I'm I'm working through a lot of stuff. I am doing a little shadow work, so maybe that is what the devil is. I'm digging deep into the parts of myself yeah, that I've hidden. Yeah, she's getting out of this. Uh, getting out and of I the am. Funk. I am. I'm really. I'm focusing. I did some spinnies last night, but we're back. It's not something that I didn't predict. Those spinnies. I predicted I'm not playing them my video game away. anymore either. Oh, guys, look, she's shaking on it. <laughs> this is video evidence that she's not playing her video. I'm game. not going to play my video game anymore. She said she was going to stop once her game was taken off, and she never stopped. So then I found another game I like. <laughs> but yes. Thank you. Well, that what a beautiful. Uh, it was a gorgeous reading. time. It was gorgeous a beautiful time, reading. Guys. Thank you so much for bringing the devil into my life. You The devil's cool. <laughs> Have you ever been called a? <laughs> oh yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, and a really? And, by your uh, sisters or who? No, no, but men uh, mostly. Really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Because I'm pretty. I don't. I talk back. You, and you have a good kind of deadpan face while you do it. Too. Yeah. Which I mean, it feels listen, smirky. It feels smirky. Your face feels like there's a smirk under it. I don't mind. They call me a bitch. I, I'm going to stand up for myself, you know? Yeah, bitch. <laughs> yeah, you dumb bitch. <laughs> you know, I, I, I was watching Ariana at the store when she's like bringing the people up into the... Yeah, she's a... No, she's so nice. I was like, she's. this is the nicest way I've ever seen any of the door guys bring people up into the belly but she'll usually turn. it's like okay guys you're ready to go see the next show line up against the wall also tip it's us. like a yeah, it's like a <laughs> it's like a prisoner's thing They're like everyone against the wall come on we're going up but Ariana's is like you guys ready to have the funnest night well, you let's can go see who's in it to like for the good parts of their career and you can yeah. see who's in it where they're like i have a moment of power. You, you know what it is it's that that 
I mean, people spend so much money to go there. They like travel to go to yeah. the store. Oh, I'm like, so I want them to have fun, you know? Like, I, whenever I, someone's like a really big comedy fan, I'll like take them like to see like the Sam Kinison bullets mm -hmm. or like I'll show them like things around because it's like we're there almost every day and we forget. But like people, it's a cool place, you know? Yeah, if yeah. you can be in the, the joy of it, it's good. If you can be in the joy of it. But a lot of, there's a door guy curse. So take that with you guys. There's be in the joy of it. Dark, dark souls. Live in the light. Be in the joy. Subscribe to that Patreon. And, and get out of your entrapped feelings. It's time to grow. Don't worry about those cups. I can't remember how many there were. Eight. There were eight <laughs> cups. But that's what you got too? I got eight cups. You got eight wands. What was the one? Eight wands was the people. Right? Oh, yeah. You got the devil. <laughs> you do have the devil. And he's right there with two teeth. Randy. His name is Randy. <laughs> All right, guys, you're the best. Hopefully, we'll see you next week at Skankfest. How did you feel about today's episode? Was it good? Did you like it? Did you like it outside? Did you like it like a puppuccino? Puppuccino? Did you like a puppuccino? Did you like a puppuccino? I love